So how many electrons in an atom uh, could have these sets of quantum numbers? So two. Um, so let's say A here is N equals four, L equals zero, B here is N equals two, C here is N equals six, L equals one, and M L equals negative one. So let's take a look at, um, let's, I'll give you a minute to think about this question. So it says here, how many electrons in an atom can have sets of, of have these sets of quantum numbers here? So take a look at that and let's figure uh, this question out here. So let's figure it out. So again, we're talking about this concept of electron configuration. We have principal quantum numbers, we have spin numbers, we have magnetic spin numbers, all that good stuff. So uh, these are all, um, this is in the electronic properties of atoms here. So um, that's what we're doing uh, in, in this problem here. This is about unit two uh, structures and properties of uh, chemical compounds. Okay, so remember, so what does N mean? N here means our principal quantum number, right? So how many uh, shells there are, uh, how many, it's how many, how, basically how many shells are, how many energy levels specifically uh, would our, um, would our uh, uh, atom have, right? So it's uh, our principal quantum number. So basically N here, um, and here is our principal quantum number. So in this case, let me right here, this is our principal quantum number. Quantum number. And what does L mean? L here equals R. This is our orbital angular quantum number, right? So L here tells us our um, the shape of our orbital, right? So if it's our shape of our orbital of L equals zero, uh, then we know we have, it's an S orbital, right? An SPD. If L equals 1, it's an S. Uh, L equals 2 would be a D orbital. L equals 3 is an F orbital, right? So in this case, L here means I have it equals 0, which means I have, I have an S orbital, right? Uh, so in this here, it means if P L equals 1, then I have a P orbital here. Remember, I'm going to call it SPDF, right? Orbitals. SPD and F. And then, um, so this here is uh, n equals 2, n equals 6 is also principal quantum numbers. And then what would ML be? Again, ML, we have this here is the magnetic quantum number, right? So this will designate how many orbitals and the orientation um, of, 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 of within that subshell, right? So we can look at uh, ML here is negative 1, right? So sorry, give me a second, I zoomed out. Uh, we have M, ML here is a negative 1. So basically what that means is if it's negative 1, then I could have, um, uh, I have here, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, shape here would be within that P orbital, right? So remember in a P orbital, I could have one uh, and then I could have plus or minus one and zero, right? So in this case, it would be, uh, in this, specifically this here is negative one. So only one of one, only one of the orbitals here. So now it's asking us, okay, how many, um, uh, how many electrons are in this? So let's, get, let's take a look at A. N here equals four. Um, so the four energy levels and L equals zero, right? So if L equals zero, then it's only in the S orbital. All the electrons exist in the S orbital. But however, N equals four, right? So if we look at this kind of problem here, and um, and they actually all wrote the solution here. It says total eight electrons, n equals two to the entire shell. There are two electrons in the two s orbital and six electrons in the two p orbital, right? So if you look at um, the principal quantum, if you actually drew out the electron configuration for this one, this here would be this here would be one s two, then two s two, and then two p six here, right? Because I'm in the s orbital, which means this here I finished. I've already finished my p orbital. The next one here would have been s three uh, s, and this here is three s zero, right? Because I don't have any more electrons in this case. So this case refers to this s orbital here. And then how many electrons do I have here in the p orbital? Two plus six here is eight electrons, which means a here has eight electrons. So this solution, this here one, is correct. So that means I have therefore, uh, therefore here I have eight electrons. So that one's good. Um, and then, uh, let's see, n equals two. Um, I only have a principal quantum number. I don't know whether or not I have a, have a, um, I have a, I don't know what the L number here is, but if n equals two, 
again, and uh, and he, and here equals two. So uh, hold up, this here is weird. A is n equals four, right? But this n equals two to the entire shell. There are two electrons. Uh, this here is the. F uh, this here is actually this is an incorrect answer. Sorry. As n equals four means I have not. I still have eight electrons actually, but uh, my my electron configuration here is wrong. So let me uh, rewrite this. I just uh, I just blanked here. Um, let me rewrite this uh, electron configuration. If n equals four, I'm in the four uh, s four s orbital, right? So this here is three s two, and then here is three p six, and then I have four s zero, right? This here is my full electron configuration for uh, for number one here, and then the electrons that are in the uh, in the outer shell and the outer orbitals here is this here is the three is three here, right? So two plus six here, it's still eight electrons. So it's still eight electrons here, but um, my uh, the logic here is actually wrong. So the logic here actually refers to this one here. So it's actually this is the electron configuration. There are it's three s two electrons in the three s orbital, not the two s orbital, and six electrons in the three p orbital. So that's what they're I'm talking about here because the principal quantum number here is four, right? So it's eight electrons, but it's in the three three s two and three p six orbitals here. And then for this one, I have n equals uh, n equals two, right? So if I write down the electron config configuration, I have here only one s two and then 2s2, right? I have 2s2, and that's basically, that's basically it, right? I, be, I, be, I only, I, n equals two means I am in the, um, I'm in the second, the second row of my periodic table. And this is actually, sorry, this is actually a, a 2s0 here, um, because I don't have anything in the, uh, I don't know what my L is, right? So if, I, if my L equals one, um, then I would be in the P orbital, but here I don't have an L, so I can't assume that I have uh, uh, this, um, my magnetic, uh, not my magnetic, sorry, my uh, orbital uh, orbital number here. So in this case, L equals, uh, 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 S equals zero, which means I only have uh, two electrons here, right? Oh, sorry. I only have two electrons in the 1s2 orbital, which means I have two electrons. Uh, and this here, uh, this is not for a subshell. This would be in the 1s2, 1s uh, orbital would have two electrons. So the logic here is also wrong, but the correct answer is total two. And then finally, uh, this answer here, I have n equals six, which means I'm in the sixth row. L here equals p, or sorry, L here, here equals one, so we're in the p orbital. And then I have ml here, which means it's preferred to om specifically only one orbital, right? Which means it has, uh, this here has two. Because, again, the p orbital is divided into, uh, uh, it can be divided into further, right? If I drew up the electron config, uh, the diagram here, every time I have, uh, I have, for example, if I have 2p6, I have one, two, and three. So I can fill these out according to Hans rule and off -bow principle. And look, if you look here, I have um, three specific shells, right? In this case, um, the ML would be, uh, this here, ML would equal negative one, ML here would equal zero, and ML here would equal positive one, right? So a negative one only refers to one of these shells here which means I have a total of two electrons, right? I have two electrons in the shell here. And if this is not 2p6 here, this would have been, uh, let me figure this out here. If I have n equals six, then I, if I draw, if I drew the electron configuration, I would have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, I have 4s2, and then I'll have 3d10, then 4s, uh, 4p, sorry, 4p6, and then I'll have 5s2, this would be 4d10, and then 5p6, and then finally 6s2, this would be 5d10, and then 6p, and 6p would be, uh, this would be 6p2, right? Because I have um, a 6, I have, again, this here would would have been, um, Again, I have three specific uh, subshells of uh, the p orbital here, and it ha it's because my ml here only refers to negative one, so only one of these shells here, which means I have two electrons in my last shell, which means uh, in total I'll have here. I'm referring to this here, which means uh, 6p2 means I have two electrons in that subshell. So this here, well, this uh, specific quantum number, these specific quantum numbers would refer to these electrons in this case. So this is the electron conf configuration for all three of these questions here. Okay, so 
Um, let me look at total two. N equals six refers to six, six shell. L equals one refers to the P uh, orbital. It's not the subshell. P orbital here, not the subshell. And ML is the subshell. So this here, it's a great solution. Or sorry, good solution. But the logic is flawed here, right? But the logic, but the analysis is missing information. So I'm going to break this down by saying... Uh, so for A, we would we would have to have. So let me look at my work here. A here would have been uh, uh, if n equals four, n equals four, and l equals zero, then um, then then electron configuration or the valence shell, the valence, uh, or I see the, I'll say the la then the last energy energy level would have been um uh would have been in the 3s2 3p6 uh, sh uh, uh energy level therefore eight electrons in the in the in that in, in the uh three in that in that energy level and then for b if uh, n equals four, or I'm sorry, if n equals two, uh, then the last energy level would have been with last ever energy level with electrons. Sorry, I should specify this part. So with electrons uh, would have been in the one s two uh, orbital or energy level, therefore two electrons in the in that energy level and then for c i'm going to say if n equals six l equals one and ml equals a negative one then uh then they have th th then the logic here is correct right so it's that then um uh last the last then the last the last and then the last energy level Level, level. Sorry, this is very sad. With electrons would have been in the six p two uh, energy level. Six p two. Six p two energy level. Therefore, only two electrons in that energy. Level. So I'm going to say solution is correct, but there's, the analysis here is missing information, right? And that's how I kind of prove this with uh, this concept here. So I'm going to say solution is correct. But